The big question this weekend, what would the woolly worm forecast for the winter? The Woolly Worm Festival in Banner Elk drew what appears to be another record crowd. Our John Rendleman was there among the throng and has the blow-by-blow blow on the big races. This is a woolly worm. It's small enough to fit in your hand, little enough to be lost. That's why so many folks keep them boxed up. And the worm races are such a big deal, judges are required to judge them, and inspectors are required to inspect them. This is the official urine testing cup for drugs. The furry little critters like the heat, thus the reason you see competitors at this festival blow on their worms. After all, with $1,000 at stake to the top worm, not the biggest worm, you got to keep your woolly worm healthy and happy. You can bring your own worm. If not, you have to pay just to get a chance to race one and over a thousand woolly worms waste this weekend, but not all at once. Isn't that right, Roy Quacky? 29th annual festival sponsored by the Banner Elk, Avery County Chamber of Commerce and the Qantas Club of Banner Elk, North Carolina. Can you imagine leaving the house on a Saturday morning with your camera to take pictures of worms racing? Well, folks did that. And with all these critters, it's always a good idea to check your festival food for worms. I can't tell you how many times I heard someone say, Where'd my worm go? I saw worm owners, for goodness sakes, drop their worms, and then for the life of them, expect the little boogers to want to race. What's happening? But nobody ever said worm racing was easy. Some worms are very uncooperative. Hopes and dreams ride on the success of a little black and brown fuzzball, and I'm about to tell you how this whole woolly worm racing deal works. Licenses are not required, but a few bucks are, and after you register, you and your worm are signed to one of 25 lanes. You even get a name tag for everyone to see. Check out this name, Dale Wormhard Jr. The worm that climbs the string the fastest is the champ. Clapping does tend to help. Each heat produces a winner. U-turns are not recommended. Gazing at your neighbor is permitted, but it only keeps you stuck in neutral. And there's some money in here, $20 bill. This duo captured the first heat of the weekend. These triplets won a race. The first triplets to win in 29 years. And these members of the Lees McRae cycling team were colorful and triumphant in their attempt at woolly worm racing. With 56 heat races in all, the 29th annual Woolly Worm Festival boils down to this. The grand finale, $1,000 to the winner and the right to predict the winter weather in the high country. The worm has 13 segments on its body. The winning worm segments will correspond to the 13 weeks of our upcoming winter. So it's time to step on up. These are the fine folks and their worms who have a chance to go where few worms have gone before. Win the big bucks if their worm can outsmart, outduel, and more importantly, outrace their furry friends. On your mark, get set, go! After a bit of a slow start, you are now looking at the winning Woolly Worm in the 29th Annual Woolly Worm Festival, Jerry Garcia, owned by Katie Berry, who just moved to Boone with assistance from Megan and Lauren Southworth of Greensboro. Okay, Jerry Garcia is declared to be free of any illegal steroid stimulants in any proper training. Curious minds want to know, Jerry Garcia, what's the weather going to be like this winter? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a good Chamber of Commerce worm. He was a fast runner, but he's not predicting. What do you think, Jim? Help me with that. It looks like the first week there would be a little natural snow, and then the second week has a little snow with cold weather built in, two weeks of snow, and then the rest, just normal winter weather until the very, very, very last day or two of winter. All right, $1,000. We are pleased with you. What do you have to say, everybody? I'm going to go buy a snowboard. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's going to buy a snowboard, but she predicts there's not going to be any snow. <laughs> oh, boy, do we have a problem. Anyway. As the Woolly Worm Festival comes to a close, Deadhead fans head home, taking pride knowing Jerry Garcia is back in the form of a worm in little old Banner Elk. For MTN, this is John Rundle.
Over the last 20 years, the worms have a purported 85% record for accuracy. That's according to Roy Craigie, a statistic I believe he inherited from Charlie Von Cannon. Tomorrow night, we'll take a detailed look at Jerry Garcia's prediction and compare it to Ray Russell's forecast for the winter. In fact, in the coming days, we might even get Ray to uh, get in here and explain himself, along with a few other items of interest. Woolly worm attendance was outstanding as well. Now, over the last 20 years, the winning worm at the Woolly Worm Festival has been accurate 85% of the time, according to worm officials. Well, tonight, we want to take a detailed look at Jerry Garcia's prediction and compare it to Ray Russell's forecast. Jerry is the winning worm from Saturday. The worm's owner is Katie Berry of Boone. Now, Mr. Woolly Worm, Roy Craigie, has the details on the worm, which has 13 different body segments, which correlate to the upcoming winter weather. Well, it looks like the first week there'd be a little natural snow, and then the second week has a little snow with cold weather built in, two weeks of snow, and then the rest, just normal winter weather until the very, very, very last day or two of winter. Do you all agree with that, according to the way we, we predict? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's now compare that forecast to Ray Russell's fearless forecast. You may remember in this annual battle that Ray won last year, he anticipates the same for the upcoming winter as well. A much colder winter than that. We do. We, we think that uh, we're going to have 20 to 30 percent more snow than normal in a temperature about one degree below normal. Uh, we're in a weak El Nino, so that's the best setup we can have going into winter for snow in the high country. Can I have the thousand dollars now? <laughs> Ray goes on to say the winter will be about one degree colder than normal this winter. Boone should get about 52 inches of snow, Banner Elk 56, and Beach Mountain 105 inches of the white stuff as we take a look at the week by week breakdown. This is Ray's forecast. And this is the worm's prediction, which is only the same as Ray's prediction in week number one, week number four, and week number seven. 